I'm Erin Husbands, owner of The Crowning Moment, and we are ready to dive into the next segment of our series, How to Score with Scores. We've already discussed deliberation and comment systems, as well as weighted and equally weighted competitions. And today, we give you our ideas on what could make the perfect pageant scoring breakdown. Now, throughout my pageant adventures, I have come across several different pageant systems with their own unique ways of scoring, but I found one that has almost the perfect scoring breakdown. So a lot of my ideas did come from them with a few adjustments. Now, one of the adjustments I would make is actually having separate panels of judges for a few areas of competition. And I would also be using weighted scores rather than weighted percentages. So I'll start with the areas of competition in the lowest tier worth of points, moving to the middle, and finally the tier with the most weighted area of competition. Let's start things off with photogenic. A picture is worth a thousand words, but shouldn't be worth a thousand points. Anyone can be placed in the correct pose, have beautiful hair and makeup, and even more beautifully edited headshots. And no offense against the photographers, you do amazing work. You truly do create beautiful works of art from your photography. But photogenic should be a headshot of the contestant and a reflection of her style and personality, not necessarily a piece of artwork you're entering into a festival or hanging in a gallery. So I would give photogenic a maximum of 20 points. My next recommendation is actually modeling. Surprising, yes, I know. And modeling is the basis, the standard of a pageant. But you are modeling on stage in any given competition, two to four, six or more times. Judges are looking for personality, confidence, ability and comfort of walking on stage, and looking like they love what they're doing, as well as overall presentation. Some areas of competition for modeling in pageants may include fitness, runway or fun fashion, evening wear, and even some include state or national costume. I would give 30 points max for each time you're on stage in modeling. So whether you're on stage twice or more, you have anywhere between 60 points and upwards just for your modeling phases of competition. And my third area of competition in the lowest tier would be a staff score. I think it's vitally important for staff members of the organization to score the delegates on how easy it is to work with them. Their backstage mannerism, their timeliness, their attitude, how easy it is to communicate with them on phone or email, and their overall representation of the organization. Now I think it's important that only the staff members who have to work with the title holders throughout the year give the score, not volunteers backstage. And I also think that each staff member who does have to work with them give the score for the delegate. I would give a max of 15 points per staff member to score the delegates. Next, let's move into our middle tier, starting with marketing. Since we live in a digital age, marketing and social media presence is key. And yes, I would actually require this for the younger contestants. Instead of a pass-fail, I would definitely utilize a weighted score system and also with a separate panel of judges so they can have a more dedicated objective to monitor and evaluate the social media presence for the delegates. Delegates should have a consistent presence, if you will. And even for the young ones, as I mentioned, parents are signing up their child to be a title holder. And they're also signing up for the responsibility to ensure that their child's year as a title holder is fulfilled with responsibilities and obligations. And in some cases, this does require social media presence. Some things the judges may consider would be creativity, audience engagement, and of course, content. 
probably give a maximum of 100 points for marketing or promotions score. I would not recommend a pass or fail for this area because anyone can do something once, but a title holder in the making will be consistent, will be fresh, and will be driven to make their presence in social media. We still have one more area of competition to put into the middle tier, but we're going to pick that one up in our next video. So be sure to check out Facebook, our website, and YouTube channel, The Crowning Moment. If you have any comments, concerns, or questions, please feel free to message us or email at info at thecrowningmoment.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Erin Husbands, and I hope to see you on stage achieving excellence one moment at a time.